You are watching I Care with Apostle Patrick T. Randolph. Hello, this is Apostle Patrick T. Randolph. I am the pastor and leader of Praise Christian Center World Outreach and many ministries that we uh, deal with around the world. And I am uh, coming to you to share with you some things that will enhance your life. I just want to encourage you, especially in times like this. So I'm going to be sharing with you from the platform of just really encouraging you, strengthening you, because the Lord our God is a faithful God. He is gracious, he is good, and he is kind, and all of us should know the goodness of our God. And so what I'm going to be sharing with you every time that you see me on here with this uh, episode that I'm going to be doing, I'm talking about I care. So I'm going to share with you how much I care by sharing with you the things that God has put upon my heart and the scriptures that he's given uh, that I can share with you to encourage you in these days and times. You need a right now word from God. You don't need a word from yesterday, past, and all of that thing. You need a right now word from the living God. And I intend to share that with you so that you can put your life on track and keep your life going and keep yourself strong in the word of God uh, because God is such a good God. And you know that he's good because he's kept you. He's blessed you even during this time. The Lord our God has been with you. And so at this time, I just want to share a couple of scripture with you real quick. And we're going to expound on some things because I know that during this time, it's a lot of difficult challenges that we have. A lot of our plates, they're really full. But guess what? God is still the same God today, yesterday, and forever. He changes not. The Lord our God is forever the same. And so I encourage you always, always look to God for your future. Look to God for the challenges you may face. Look to God because he is truly the answer. You already see that men really don't have the answer. You see that men are scrambling left and right. They don't know what to do. Today things are fine when they say, and the next day they're saying it's not fine. Today they make decisions to do this, and tomorrow they make another decision because the decision they made was not a good decision. And remember this. <clears throat> men are good. Men are all right. But put your trust in the living God. And one of the reasons I want to tell you to do that is because God is immutable. That means God is not changeable. God does not change. As I said to you earlier, that he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. That means he can be counted on for who he was yesterday. He can be counted on for who he is today. And he's going to be able to be counted on for who he is tomorrow because God is eternal. And there's no beginning, there's no ending in that which is eternal. Hallelujah to the name of God. So I want to share this scripture with you. I'm going to bring it to you from the BBE translation of the Bible. It says there can be no mutation in the character of God. No mutation in the character of God. He is per perfection. He cannot be holier than he is. How about that? And he cannot deteriorate. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So he says, on this, he says, now this is Psalms 105 and verse 25 to 27. He says, in the past, you put the earth on its base and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will come to an end, but you will still go on. Or they all become old like a coat and like a robe. They will, will be changed. But you are the unchanging one and your years have no end. So you see, here's a description of God. This is how we have to approach God. This is how we have to see God on a continual basis. If God answers prayers, answer prayers yesterday, he's going to answer prayers today. If God answers prayers today, he's going to answer prayers tomorrow. If God made a promise yesterday and that promise still stands, then today that promise is still yours. And the reality of the thing is, we simply have to believe and trust the living God because he, again, is faithful. You see, the word of God declares that he is the unchanging, now watch this, unchanging one, capital O-N-E, the capital one. And so it's saying to us that he is divine, that he is awesome God, and so he never, ever changes. And then it says also in the book of James, the first chapter of James, it says every good and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. God does not change. Every good and every perfect gift comes from above. It comes from him, and he does not change. He's, there's no shadow, as King James says, there's no shadow of turning in him. And so you can be encouraged with the fact that you can always, again, count on God because he is a steadfast God. Hallelujah. There is no other God like him. There is none will ever compare to him. There's no God but the living God, and he is our God. Bless his holy name forever. Why don't you just take a moment and just lift your hands to the living God. Hallelujah to his name. Thank God right now that he's, uh, he's an unchanging God. Thank God right now that his promises are truth. Thank God right now that his promises shall not fail you because God himself cannot fail. 
I have a couple other passages of scripture I want to share with you in, the, in, the, in Malachi, the third chapter. It says, for I am the Lord and I do not change. I am the Lord and I do not change. That's why we have to love God's way. We have to love God's law. Because when you love the way of God, then you come to a place where you know what God is expecting. When you love his word, you love what God is speaking, then you know what to expect from God. And then you know what God doesn't change in. Hallelujah. So it puts us in a position where we can have great confidence in our God. In the Hebrews, the first chapter in the 10th verse, in the 12th verse, it says this, you, Lord, are the begin in the beginning laid the foundation of the earth. Hallelujah. And the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you remain. My God. And they will grow old like a garment, like as a, as a cloak. You will fold them up and they will be changed. But you are the same and, you, and your years will not fail. Think about that. Think about that just a moment. You know, again, the scripture says, it says, some men put their, some put their trust in horses and chariots. In other words, in the might and the power of man. But we will remember the name of the Lord our God. Why do we remember his name? Because he's the unchanging one. He's the one that does great and mighty things. He's, the still, he's still the God of miracles. He's still the God of signs. He's still the God of wonders. And he wants to do miracles, signs, and wonders in your life today. Reach out to him. Call upon him. Because he is faithful. He is faithful. He is faithful to his word. I love God. I want you to love God. Put your trust, put your faith in a living, unchangeable, immutable God. It is impossible for God to lie. Put your confidence in him. This is Apostle Patrick T. Randolph. Thank you for joining me. I want to encourage you to check me out on tomorrow. Hallelujah. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I guarantee you, you're going to be blessed. <laughs>